you guys are looking for legit modded accounts, money drops, cash drops, services, anything, head over to digizani.com. Use discount code DINAROBSHD for 5% off all purchases. Be sure to check them out, guys. Yo, what up gamers, it's your boy Dino, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today's video guys, we'll be creating multiple modded outfits with the transfer glitch. Before we do that, shout out to the boys on screen. If you guys want to shout out, drop a like and comment certain eyes in the comment section for a later video shout out. Before doing this glitch, you want to make a fresh female character and head over to her. Once you've got your fresh female character made, head over to any clothing store and all you want to go ahead and do is put the same components I do use for every outfit. So first of all, you want to head to the top section, go straight down to leather jackets, and you want to go ahead and purchase the blue JC leather jacket. Once you go ahead and purchase that, you want to back out of that category, head to the tank tops, and purchase the two tongue tank. So once you go ahead and purchase that, can back up that top section, head over to the pants section and go to sports pants. Go ahead and purchase these spotted muscle pants. These are your merging pants which allow you to merge over your outfits in Crooked Cop on your male character. From there head over to the suit section, go to high heel boots and you're going to purchase the deluxe midnight boots. From there head over to the accessory stand, you want to go ahead and go into earrings and you want to go ahead and purchase the black and white earrings. Now these will allow you to merge scarves, IA badges and much more onto your outfits, so make sure you put these on. With that being said, you can go ahead and save this as your first outfit and that is your gloves sorted for your first white jersey outfit. From there, you'll need to head over to the top section once again and you want to go ahead and go to the bomber jackets. Now all you want to go ahead and do is purchase this bomber jacket here with the M on it. From there you can back out of that, go over to the accessory stand and purchase those woodland tactical gloves, which allow you to merge your racing gloves over on outfits. From here you're done, go ahead and save this as an outfit again. And moving on to the last step of this main outfit. All you want to go ahead and do is go back to the top section once again and purchase a work jacket. So the work jacket you want to purchase is the peach camo one in here. You want to go ahead and purchase this and make sure it is actually closed. From there you can back out of that, go to Gunrunner t-shirts and purchase the very bottom one, the blue digital t-shirt. This is the uh, gun belt while merged over to your outfits on the male character. So go ahead and save that and slot underneath. Alright then guys, so moving on to the second outfit. Same again as last time, you want to go ahead and put your merging gloves on. So you want to go ahead and go to leather jackets and get our racing gloves components onto our male outfit. So go to the blue JC jacket again. Purchase that. And again, same as last time, you want to go ahead and put that two tongue tank on. Once you go ahead and done that, all you want to go ahead and do then is head over to the shoe section and you want to go ahead and put on the worn chocolate slack boots. Now these will transfer over to our male as the deadline red outfit. Once you've gone and done that, all you want to go ahead and do is take off all accessories apart from your earrings. So go ahead and remove those gloves. From there head over to the pants section and you want to go ahead and go to utility pants. All you want to go ahead and do is put on these highest utility pants right here. With that being said, head over then to the uh, stand and save this as an outfit. This would be a gloves again. Moving on to the next outfit. All you want to go ahead and do is back out of there. Go to the bomber jackets in the top section and purchase the red bomber jacket I do purchase in this video. This is the black jersey. From there, you need to head up to the pants section and put on the spotted pants again. 
And again, head over to the shoe section and put on those worn chocolate slack boots. Once you go ahead and put those on, make sure you put your merging gloves on with the Woodland Tactical Gloves and that outfit is then complete. With that being said, you can go ahead and save this as an outfit underneath the current outfit you just saved. Moving on to the last part of this outfit, we're going to earn a gun belt once again. So again, all you want to go ahead and do is go to the top section, go to work jackets and purchase that peach camel work jacket again. From there, head to gun run t-shirts and put on the blue t-shirt again, blue digital t-shirt. And that is your second outfit then complete. Moving on to the third outfit, go ahead and save this as again underneath your slot you just saved. Moving on, all you want to go ahead and do now is go to the pants section, go to your utility pants, and you want to go ahead and put these same utility pants on again. From there you can go ahead and save this as an outfit. This is the Chon Top Part 1. After that you just go ahead and change your pants and your shoes and you should be sorted. So you want to go ahead and go back to the pants section. Put on those merging pants, these spotted muscle pants, and from there head over to the shoe section. All you want to go ahead and do is go to high heel boots and put on those deluxe midnight boots. With that being said, that is your third outfit complete. All you want to go ahead and do is save that under your current slot. Moving on to the next outfit, all you want to go ahead and do is back out of there and go straight over to the top section. From there, all you want to go ahead and go down to leather jackets and you go ahead and put the multi colored jacket on. With that being said, you can go ahead and save this as an outfit one more time. And that there is the blue galaxy top merge from there if you put a cop belt on it like I will be doing in the gameplay you already know what to do head back over to that top section go to work sections go ahead and put on that work peach camo jacket and go ahead and put on a blue digital t-shirt in the gun runner section which you should already have on with that being said you can go ahead and back out of that and save this underneath your current slot. So that is the two Galaxy Part skins right there. We are done with this one. This is another outfit complete. Moving on to our next outfit. All you want to go ahead and do now is head back over to the top section, go to leather jackets, and you want to go ahead and buy this time the grey JC jacket. Once you go ahead and purchase that, you want to back out of there and again put that two tongue tank on. Once you go ahead and put that bad boy on, all you want to go ahead and do is back out of there, take your accessories off, such as your gloves, and head straight over to the save section. All you want to go ahead and do now is just save this as an outfit. The green jersey part one gloves part. All you want to go ahead and do now is go back up to that top section, go to polo shirts and purchase the same polo shirt I purchased in this gameplay. So 
here is, all you want to go ahead and do is put it bad boy on. Once you go ahead and done that, make sure you put your merging gloves on by going to your style interaction menu and putting those wooden tactical gloves on. With that being said, you can go ahead and save this under your current saved outfit. Moving on to the last part of this outfit, all you want to go ahead and do is go over to the top section once again, go to work jackets, put on that work jacket that we had on before, peach camo. Then from there you'll need to head down to the gun runner t-shirts. All you want to go ahead and do is scroll up there until you see the great digital roll T. Once you go ahead and purchase that, you can go ahead and save this as your second to last outfit. Moving on to our final outfit. So all you want to go ahead and do now is head over to the top section once again and you want to go down to tuck t-shirts. Once you go into tuck t-shirts, you want to purchase the white digital t-shirt or white standard t-shirt. From there, you want to go ahead and go to biker cuts and purchase the same biker cut I do use, the patched one. So you want to go ahead and purchase this on. From there, all you want to go ahead and do is back out of there and save this as an outfit. This is a Juggernaut part one. From there, what you want to do to do to the last outfit is go over to the top section, go to tactical jackets, and purchase the same tactical jacket I do use, the very, very bottom one. Once you go and purchase that, save this as your final outfit. Once you've saved all these and you've got all these the way it is, just the way I've done it, you're ready to transfer these outfits. So I will not be doing a transfer glitch in this in this video. For those who don't know how to do it, I will leave a link to it in the description. Be sure to check it out. And uh, all you want to go ahead and do before doing that is make sure your outfits are all saved. Once you're satisfied with them, all you want to go ahead and do is hold the select button and take the easy way out. Then from there, when you do go ahead and spawn, go as fast as you can to online creator and do the creator glitch. With that being said, we're going to jump over to our main character. Alright, and so we have transferred all our outfits over, as you can see from female to male. You want to go ahead and save the current outfit that you are using, or saving, or want to keep. And all you want to go ahead and do now is go to start, go to online, and go to crooked cop. For me, I will not be going to start, I'll be getting my friend to invite me. When your friend has invited you, or you've joined the game, make sure you go ahead and set the clothing to player owned and go ahead and go one to the right. You will notice your IA badge if you have it, or scarf, whatever you have, has merged over to your outfit. All you go ahead and do is ready up. Once you've ready up and you're in a mission, all you want to go ahead and do is go to select, put something on a rebreather or an earpiece, then go ahead and quit the mission. When you spawn back into an online session, head over to the clothing store, go to accessory stand and go to gloves. You want to scroll through there until you come across racing gloves. Once you find them, go ahead and put them on, and then go ahead and go up to the counter and delete that outfit that we transferred from a female. From there, you want to go ahead and join that Crooked Cop mission again with that clothing set to player owned. All you want to go ahead and do then is go two to the right. From there, you'll notice your gun belt and your jersey have merged together. All you want to go ahead and do ready up when you're inside that mission, go ahead and put a rebreather on or an earpiece. Once you've done that, go ahead and quit the mission. When you're back in a online session, you'll notice you do have the modded outfit. Go ahead and save it in your very very last slot. And that is your first outfit complete. Moving on to the second one, tell your friend to host up that crooked cop mission again with that clothing set you play owned. Once you're in there, go ahead and go one to the right. 
one to the right and go ahead and ready up. Again when you're inside that mission go ahead and put a rebreather or an earpiece on and back out by quitting through the phone. Once you're back into an online session, head over to the clothing store and go ahead and put those merging gloves on again. So you want to go to the accessory stand, go to gloves and scroll through there until you come across racing gloves. Once you've found them, go ahead and clip them, go ahead and go to the stand and go ahead and delete the gloves merge. Once you've gone and deleted it, go ahead and go to the Crooked Cop mission one more time, set the clothing to player owned and go ahead and ready up. From there, all you want to go ahead and do is go two to the right, and you'll notice all your outfit is pushed over together. You've got the cop belt, the gloves, and the black jersey. From there, ready up, and when you're inside the mission, go ahead and put a rebreather or an earpiece on. Once you've done that, go ahead and quit the mission through your phone, and load back into an online session. Once you load it into an online session, you notice you have the modded outfit, go ahead and go to clothing store and just save this again. Make sure you remember to delete the two outfits that you've just merged together, otherwise the glitch won't work for the next outfit. Once you've deleted them, you're going to host up that crooked cop mission again with the joggers that you want to merge over to your outfit. For me it would be the white joggers, but this time we're going to go ahead and do the juggernaut suit. So once you're inside the mission, make sure you set to the owned player clothing. Go ahead and go two to the left, two to the left again, two to the left, two to the left until you come across the juggernaut suit. Once you're on the juggernaut suit, you want to go right, right, right until you come across your gloves, and go left, left, left again until you come across the juggernaut suit again. And then go ahead and do is ready up. When you're inside the mission, you notice your outfit has completed. All you want to go ahead and do is put a rebreather or an earpiece on and quit the mission. When you load back into a single player or story mode session, you should have the outfit. Go ahead and save it, then go ahead and delete the two juggernaut merge outfits. From there, we're going to and make another outfit once more time. We're going to head and go and put on our deadline outfit. So depending on what colour you guys want to use, go ahead and put your deadline outfit on. For me, I am using the white one in this gameplay. Once you have your deadline outfit on, go ahead and tell your friend to invite it to that crooked cop mission again. Make sure you go ahead and set the clothing to player owned, and all you want to go ahead and go is two to the right. With that being said, your outfit should all merge all together, just like you see. Go ahead and ready up. When you're inside that mission, go ahead and put a rebreather or an earpiece on and quit the mission. When you're back in an online session, you notice you do have the outfit. Go ahead and save it in a clothing store. Then go ahead and delete the two outfits with the merge ones. Moving on to our next outfit, I am using the white joggers. So if you guys have white joggers, put them on. From there, tell your friend to host on that mission again. Put it to owned, play owned, and go into that mission. All you want to go ahead and do is go one to the right and one to the right again. And you'll notice your merged gloves do go over to your outfit and your white joggers and your guys top are all together. All you want to go ahead and do is ready up, get into that mission, put a rebreather or an earpiece on and quit the mission. When you're back in an online session you notice you have the outfit. All you want to go ahead and do is save it and delete the two merged outfits. From there, you want to head back over to that mission with the white joggers on, tell your friend to set the clothing to player owned, and all you want to go ahead and do then is go one to the right. Once you've readied up, all you want to go ahead and do is go into the mission and put a rebreather or an earpiece on, and then quit the mission. Once you've done that, you'll load back into an online session with the outfit. All you want to go ahead and do is run to a clothing store and go to the glove section. You want to go ahead and go to gloves and scroll through there until you come across racing gloves gloves. Once you see the racing gloves, all you want to go ahead and purchase them. From there, head over to the clothing section and go ahead and delete the, the merge gloves. From there, we're ready to complain our outfits. So go ahead and go up to Crooked Cop again, set the owned to player owned. 
go two to the right and you'll notice your whole outfit merges together. All you want to go ahead and do is ready up then. When you're inside the mission, as always go ahead and put a rebreather or an earpiece on and quit the mission. Once you've had a load back into an online session, you have completed all the outfits for today's tutorial. So there you go guys, if you did enjoy today's video, please do drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, if you're around here, make sure to hit our bell notifications. But I'd like to know your feedback on these outfits guys, if you're going to use them, please do let me know. Other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video, I hope you enjoy, have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one. With that being said, it's your boy Dino, Till next time, peace.